In this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of an incredible custom luxury home at the ledges of St. George. This property is directly behind me. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me on this tour. Before we begin, I'd like to tell you that this home is available to purchase. The full MLS link is in the description below this video, as well as the QR code up here. Yes, it is available for showings, and yes, I would love to show it to you. There are a couple of features that really, really stand out about this incredible property. It is located at the ledges of St. George. It is a gated golf community with upscale luxury properties scattered about this mountain landscape and beautiful golf course. What's really incredible about this particular home is the layout, the overall usability, the elegant luxury feel, and this massive six car garage. I will start out there because we'll, we'll be able to talk more about other features and details of this home as we head inside, but I want you guys to, to truly appreciate the size of this driveway. It is a proper 1700 square foot six car garage, and there's also some additional parking on the side of this home. which is typically a, a pretty rare feature for these golf course communities as usually you end up with a shorter, smaller driveway and maybe a two or three car garage. So it is a rare detail for this particular subdivision. Let's head inside and we'll talk a little bit more about this property. Notice the elegant detail in this gate, it matches almost identically to the front door. And this front door is absolutely massive. Before we go in, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about this courtyard. This courtyard is very private with the gate um, that has privacy insert in it. And there are several doors from the house that take you into this courtyard. This property is a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom home and it has a casita or mother-in-law suite or essentially a fully functioning one bedroom apartment as it has its own kitchen, its own laundry, and its own private access to the front and the rear of the property. Let's head inside and check this home out. This door is absolutely massive and I love how it has a full opening that splits it for airflow, so you could have it completely open. Right as we enter this home, you see that it opens to this massive open floor plan, it has plenty of space to entertain, and you have large windows across the back of this property, and the kitchen dining area is massive as well. But before we get into that, just in order for this tour to flow in order, let's start with the office. There's an office, with a set of French doors that is right next to the front entry, conveniently located here. If you're seeing somebody in, they don't have to walk through the whole house. And in general, I feel like that's a great spot for an office. Could also be utilized as a bedroom as it does have its own closet. Now, I touched on this piece a little bit while we were outside. This is the mother-in-law suite, the casita, the one bedroom apartment. It can be completely locked away from the main home it is completely self-sufficient as it has its own spacious living room, a full kitchen with a general electric cooktop and a microwave, a dishwasher, a full-size refrigerator. It's incredible. This is literally a house within a house. So as we go back here, the bedroom and the bathroom for this area is completely separate has a large bath with a stackable washer and dryer and a walk-in shower. And this bedroom, it's very spacious. It fits a king size bed, has really tall ceilings, 10 foot ceilings with eight foot doors throughout this property. And this door takes us outside. So effectively, the casita has access to the front and the rear of the property independent of the entire house. So let's go explore the rest of the home. Let's take a closer look at this kitchen. 
as you see throughout this entire property, there are lots and lots of luxury finishes and touches. There's a commercial Frigidaire refrigerator, a beverage chiller right next to it, two-tone cabinets with gray uh, bottoms and white tops. I think that look looks excellent in this home because everything has a slight element of contrast. You have a massive center island that has room for four bar stools with these elegant pendants up above, dual oven, a Samsung six burner cooktop with a Samsung hood over it. I think that's a great combination. And the pantry has its own butler quarters with more countertop space for small appliances and things like that. And the pantry itself is actually quite spacious. Come check this out. So it runs all the way to ceiling and you have all of these racks. This dining area is quite spacious as well. And there's also a built-in on this side of the house that could be used as a little office space, a little corner desk. And I don't know if you could tell from the video, but this dining table is absolutely massive. Right beside it, we have a double slider that opens up the backyard. But we'll talk a little bit more about the backyard in a moment. I wanna show you guys the rest of the interior of this home first. So this home is separated into two sides, the guest side and the owner's suite. We'll finish on this side first. As we go down this hallway, we have a Jack and Jill bathroom that is attached to this bedroom as well. So it, it becomes a hallway bath, a guest bath, or potentially a bath that is used for this bedroom. This bedroom is generous in size, and I love how many bedrooms and how many, how many rooms in this house have access to the exterior. This bedroom also has access to the outside of the house. So it could be very useful for some people that have an arrangement where, you know, maybe you have um, your parents or children living with you and they need independent access to the house. You have at least two, well, technically three rooms in this house that could have exterior access without disturbing the rest of the home. Solid surface countertops, beautiful cabinets, floating vanities in, these, uh, in this bathroom, and just a, a shower tub insert combo. This is, is the half bath and the mudroom area. It's a really good sized powder and a mudroom just as you come in. So if you come in through the garage, which this is the door that takes us in the garage. You have a bath right here. If you come in through the main door, you have a guest bath on the other side of the house. The laundry room has an elegant barn door in it and it is quite spacious. Has plenty of room for folding. Upper cabinets does have a hanging rack and a sink. As we go further down this hallway, it takes us into the owner suite. There is a linen closet. Right. And this space is absolutely massive. It has room for a large king size bed, as well as this nook that could be used as a home gym in this current setup, or it could be set up as a home office. Essentially, you have another bedroom within a bedroom right here. If somebody has a baby, this could be used for a crib. There's a number of uses, but the way it's currently configured, I think is perfect. This room also has exterior access to the backyard. Master bath has a large dual vanity, a standalone tub, a really good size walk-in shower, and a dual closet that splits beside uh, this opening right here. I know I had some of you excited because I started talking about the garage in the very beginning of this video. Sorry for making you wait so long. Let's take a peek in the garage. So this side is the two car. And this door, I wanted to point out, takes you straight into your courtyard, which is really cool because you're able to access it right right through your garage if you just arrived here and you needed to access the front of the property. So this side has a two-car garage. 
It is, it has sealed um, epoxied floors, which is a really nice touch. And then as we go through here, this is the fun part of the garage. There is a dual water heater as well as the water softener already set up in this home. And this section can fit additional four vehicles, all of your toys, tools, pretty much anything you would imagine. I always ask this question in all of our videos, what would you park here? And I have yet to get any comments or responses. So what would you park here? Folks, as I mentioned earlier, this property sits on a 0.48 acre lot. And this backyard is absolutely perfect. You've got so much room, it is fully landscaped right now. It has a built-in barbecue with Blaze Grill and some built-in drawers with plenty more room to expand if you wish. There's plenty of room for a pool. Let's just walk in this direction. I wanna show you guys that side parking that I was telling you about on uh, the other side of the property when we're out front. And I know we have a lot of clients that are searching for homes that already have a pool, but sometimes it's nice to have something that can be a blank slate, but yet you don't have to worry about doing something immediately because this landscaping is already beautiful even without putting in a pool. So this is the side parking uh, from the front or essentially an additional storage area if you didn't have enough room inside of the 1700 square foot garage. And the other side of this property is where I was telling you guys about the, the backyard access from the casita. And this side is also very usable and landscaped, very cool. Absolutely love the modern exterior of this home. And as you'll notice, most homes uh, within this community are very similar. So I don't know if you noticed on the front, but throughout this property, there are some really cool metal plants that imitate the real desert plants that are out in this area. So you, you don't really even catch on right away but I think that this sort of landscaping looks beautiful, especially knowing my ability to keep green things alive. There's a miniature putting green course right beside here. That is the door out here that takes you into the casita area of this home. And this gate take, takes us back out to the front of this property. Folks, if you have any questions, or if you'd like to set up a time for you to see this home in person, please message me here or contact me directly. My phone number is in the description below this video and I will see you in the next one.